I don't know how to start this video. Uh, I could do my normal spiel, but it doesn't seem right in this setting. But I will say, if you're brand new, if you've never seen me before, hi, I'm Steve Saylor, commonly known as a blind gamer. And to basically put it shortly, uh, I was one of the accessibility consultants on The Last of Us Part Two. And as the title of this video says, I'm about to play The Last of Us Part Two on the PlayStation 5 for the very first time. I also, and I'll get into it in a sec. So I, I ask you if you're just here just to see the how The Last of Us Part Two looks on the PlayStation 5, bear with me. Um, I'll get into that in a sec. But I wanted to at least acknowledge this moment because you may have possibly seen a viral video um, of mine just before The Last of Us Part Two came out uh, where I was reacting to the accessibility settings for the first time. That post that I didn't even think would go viral basically jump-started a lot of my career. And the fact that I'm sitting here today with... A, a review unit of the PlayStation 5. I got the PlayStation 5 early to be able to provide impressions and review. And the fact that jump from, from that point to now, this is beyond what I could have ever imagined possible in literally only about six months time. So before I get into it, I really just wanted to at least acknowledge this moment as being the most surreal moment I've had in a long time and also to acknowledge just how far I've come in only six months. Longer than that because of since I started consulting on, on The Last of Us, but a lot of kind of where I'm at today, a lot of probably one of the reasons why you're sitting here watching me right now is because from that video and from that time. So I want to say thank you. And I'm, um, yeah, I'm excited to officially show you what The Last of Us Part Two looks like on the PlayStation 5. For, uh, for context, for my PlayStation 5, this is literally the, I have not played any games on this whatsoever. I've played around with a bit of the settings of the PlayStation 5 itself, um, but I have not tried any game whatsoever as, as of this recording. Um, so I thought it was, only, it was only befitting that on the next generation console of the PlayStation 5, for me personally, that the first game I get to play is The Last of Us Part Two. So let's jump into uh, the interface. So The Last of Us Part Two, home for Steve Saylor. This is Button. The Last of Us Press Part Two uh, on five the PlayStation 11. Five. This L1 is the PlayStation L1 Five L1 menu. Options, options. As you can hear, I have the screen reader on. Uh, this is an accessibility setting. Uh, you can be able to find uh, in the accessibility menu. Um, Play. But what I love about it so far is that you get to hear the music um, and uh, you get to see the some of the artwork for it, which is very large on the screen. You get to see the progress of your trophies. Yes, I only have 26% of the trophies. I'm working on it. Um, and then these are all the activities uh, of the trophies I haven't unlocked. Here's the official news for everything that's happened last uh, last of Us uh, Part 2. Obviously, as you can see, as of Tuesday, the grounded returns in, in a new update, um, and then here are trending broadcasts of The Last of Us Part Two uh, that I can tune into at any given point. Uh, so this is how the game looks. I should also mention as well that if you hit these three dots, you can jump into some of the d other content that comes with it. So if you have a deluxe edition of a game, you'll get f you will can be able to go to these menus and be able to jump to each of these. So they don't download or they download as their own separate app, but they don't take up an additional tile on the screen. So if I just jump, if I uh, do the f PS4, the, like the original soundtrack, it basically switches this entire tile to the soundtrack. 
and I can be able to play it right from here. Um, but if I wanted to be able to jump to the full game, and you'll see that it'll be labeled as whether it's a PS5 or a PS4 title. So if I switch to the PS4, now it's switched over to that with the um, with the game still in its own little media bar. So it's kind of almost like a little folder for the game itself, uh, which is kind of cool. It's a nice way to be able to organize your home screen a little bit, um, which was pretty neat for uh, for me to see. So. Without any further ado, uh, I'm actually going to put on 3D audio headphones and I'm going to try to actually be able to record the gameplay uh, and also record myself like hearing 3D audio because I haven't tried these out yet. This will also be the first time I'm trying these out as well. So headphones on. Let's do this. Let's, let's go into a counter just so I can, we can get some maybe some combat going. Supermarket. Well, let's do the supermarket. Well, let's do moderate. Look uh, invert camera assist off. Automatically reorient. Start. There we go. Cool. <sighs> All right. Let's see how the Dual Sense and the 3D audio headphones actually kind of enhance my experience, which is which would be pretty cool if it did. That'd be awesome. So we're still gonna have a little bit of load times with <laughs> with this. <laughs> this is <laughs> oh man, I can't believe this is gonna be. This is the very first game I got to play on the PlayStation Five. That's a sentence I didn't think I was ever gonna be able to say. <laughs> Oh, this is great. Oh, man. Here we go. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, I, ooh, I can already feel the, uh, the haptic feedback on this thing. All right. So let's, uh, let's turn on high contrast mode so I can actually be able to see it. But actually, you know what? No, let's keep it off for now because I kind of want to show off a little bit of here's what the game looks like. Let's, uh, I know it's a bit dark, but, you know, we're going to try our best here. And let's, let's do a stealth kill on this one. Come on, buddy. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Okay. So the haptic feedback on the controller, I could feel it when Ellie was stabbing the click, the, the runner, and then then I could feel it pulling out of the runner's neck. Oh man, you can actually feel that subtle detail in the DualSense controller. So now let's turn on. Ooh. Okay, so I'm turning on enhanced listening and I can actually Oh, with the 3D audio, I can literally hear where everything is. It is so so good. Let's maybe try to grab this this runner over here. Don't go in behind there. I want to say hi. Hi. Bye. Oh. Come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, and you can actually feel in the, in the dual sense, like with, like on which side of the controller it does it on. So, like I felt that for going from the, like the left to the right when you pull out the knife, which is so so cool. And by the way, a lot of the uh, stuff that you're sort of seeing and hearing is the accessibility settings of The Last of Us Part II. Um, this is not native to the PlayStation 5, I should point that out. Um, if you're curious about the accessibility of The Last of Us Part II, I would encourage you to take it out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, okay. I normally am better at this game. <laughs> but I'm just... I'm just... I'm just, I'm just taking everything all in. Let's go with. Oops! I just used this zoom in tool on the on the game. There we go. Oh! Oh! Who else is left? Uh oh! Oh yeah! Anyone else? Any still moving? Uh, nope. You completed the encounter. Woo! 
<laughs> wow. Okay, so the... The 3D audio sounds so good along with the dual sense. Like it is already going to be enhanced. Now, this is not an optimized version of Last of Us Part Two, by the way. I'm playing this before uh, launch, so there hasn't been really any uh, updates, as far as I know, that have been sent for the PlayStation Five on any of the PlayStation Four games. So this is already with the 3D audio headphones and the dual sense controller on the <laughs> uh, with the haptic feedback. It feels so good. It feels so good. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Sony, for making this happen and making this even a better experience. Oh, these are going to be great for blind players, though, by the way. Uh, I highly recommend if you are able to pick up a pair of 3D audio headphones uh, that'll work with the PlayStation 5 definitely worth it now this was provided to me by playstation uh so i should uh, uh thank sony for that but yeah this is this is gonna be great for for blind players to be that immersed into a game uh highly recommend uh so that's it for me thank you so much for uh tuning into this quick little video i will have my playstation 5 impressions of the accessibility uh very soon uh i just wanted to be able to put this up for the time that i was able i'm able to release it for embargo so at least i can ha have something i'm just working uh working really hard on the editing right now so by the time you watch this maybe later in the future it probably will be up if it is you'll see it in sort of the end tag it will be up on the screen somehow or in the description down below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video as always i remain obediently yours oh man i'm gonna play some more playstation 5 let's do this